so get I'm in the hospital yesterday and I found out I've got to be on a breathing tube uh, probably twice because I have two surgeries <sighs> I'm not happy about it especially because I just my roommate was choking a lot a few minutes ago, so now I'm in the common room. My roommate's on a breathing tube right now. And I'm going to be on a breathing tube in four days. I don't know how long. And then I'm going to be on a breathing tube after my second surgery. After I broke my neck, I was on a breathing tube. Five days. And the thing about a breathing tube is it makes you forget how to breathe. So when they finally pull it out, you have about 30 seconds or a minute where you, freak, you don't remember how to breathe on your own. So when they pulled mine out, I almost choked. By then, this was the third time I almost died and from my neck accident. I almost drowned. I almost, I had a bad reaction to the anesthesia and then I choked. Um, by then, I figured this was it. So, this is okay. Two people who saw me take my first breath, they're to see me struggling and not taking my last breath. So, I'm not excited for having another budging tube stuck down my neck, but there's not really much I can do about it. But I just had to leave my own room because I can't listen to it anymore. So hopefully you never have to go through listening to the experience or having the experience done because it's not fun and I gotta do it twice. Enjoy breathing on your own. After you're done with it, taking a deep breath is like drinking chocolate milk or something.